I just find it fascinating, the dichotomy, for lack of a better word, of trying to balance these two characters as a fan because we know who you really are now. Yeah. And I've often heard, you know, almost as like a tongue-in-cheek thing, people say, well, in wrestling, the bad guys are really good guys and the good guys are really bad guys. But most of us who are listening to this, we don't know Abdul the Butcher. Right. But we know that the character you portrayed, for lack of a better word, was the villain in a horror movie. Yeah. Uh, and, and Abdul the Butcher, much the same. But we don't really know Larry. Was he was he a good dude? Like the way people yeah. talk about the opposite? Yes, he was. I think there's really something to... Because the baby face and heels, yes. everyone does turns. But I think there's something to be said for those men and women who begin as heels and and they apply their craft as heels because they don't buy into the adulation. So they don't buy into the idea that here's a guy who's had three months of training and now he's signing autographs. Yes. And he's selling photos. Because back back then if you could pick up an extra fifty to one hundred dollars selling photos, deal. you were doubling or tripling your payoff. So even in the Memphis territory, the baby faces did photos, uh, heels did not. Every once in a while, you'd have a baby face who'd come over with a little bit of money and just said, hey, I want to thank you for helping me get over. But that was rare. It was just accepted that being a heel meant there'd be no merchandise money. And I think that you, you know, you learned to be humble because you didn't buy into being someone who you were not, even though you would later buy into it almost out of necessity because if you weren't living the gimmick to some extent, you probably weren't doing it right on screen. Right. And there's a, you know, there's a fine line between putting everything you have into the character and becoming the character. I don't think I ever did, but I'm sure, you know, if you were my girlfriend in 1989, (laughs) you were getting, you were getting, half Cactus Jack, half Mick Foley, and you didn't know where one began and one ended, or even that I he had, Cactus Jack had the name Mick Foley. I just, I can't get over these crazy characters.